Oh, I get it. It's a carnival, so it's made by Midway. Nice, guys. Nice. Oh, I get it. The game is is three dimensional and it features effects, <laughs> so it's three D effects. It's also interactive. Moon's full and trees are bare. Walk through the cemetery if you dare, okay. where skeletons rot and corpses fester. Locate the tomb with the skull of a jester. Feed him the token, all shiny and new. It is then that Carnival will return for you. Oh, okay. Wait, so go to a cemetery and a carnival will happen? That's so we got. Cut rate Vincent Price joining us for this game. Those are the most complex GPS directions I've I've ever received. Is this game directed by John Landis? They aren't even looking for Oh, am I there? Ludwig von Token Taker was not actually the guy who ran a carnival, it was the guy who sold weed behind the carnival. That's the biggest token I've ever seen. How could you do that accidentally? No, the, the guy explicitly instruct us what to do. He yeah, was that like, wasn't us. That was just some random kid. Oh, okay. This is like a fucked up Jumanji. Nah, Jumanji's pretty dark. I mean, a kid loses 30 years of his life. <laughs> Only to travel back in time with the mind of an adult man and be a kid again. <laughs> I know. I mean, it's so horrible, he eventually kills himself. <laughs> I hate you, Jason. <laughs> no, don't, don't acknowledge I'm cutting that. Okay, let's get ready to roll. Okay, let's go ahead and pick a Ricky Town. So middle one? Yep. What goes up? Shoot him! He hasn't done anything, like, right wrong, though. Right. Did you mod That's my intro to Mario 64? <laughs> I know it's supposed to be scary, but since he said sesame seed bun, I really want a chicken sandwich. <laughs> I just want him to eat my heart. He's gonna eat my heart out. Oh, holly nice. jolly, it's the Christmas wasp. <laughs> So, I guess this is where we should talk about what are we all getting for Christmas? Do you guys know? No. Uh, uh, pr hopefully presents. I, I kind of I, 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 I kind of need a laptop. I uh, actually got a gift early. It was actually made out to all of us. Uh, I got a copy of Air Force Gator signed by Dan Riker. And it says, to the dummies at Reload Last Save. Uh, I, I got some wasps. <laughs> We should, oh, we should all get gator-themed presents. That's at Dan Reichert's uh, dad's house, or the wasps. I think, I think we should get gator golf. Yeah. Gator I bought, raid. I bought the movie whack. gator. Oh, yeah, check out that music. That's my new ringtone. When is the Texas State Fair gonna start giving everyone pistols to carry around openly? <laughs> when we start getting infested by giant wasps. <laughs> Jason, we're in Texas. I'm pretty sure people bring their own guns. If you're wondering why there are three of us, uh, Andy and Jason are playing the game, I'm just putting tokens in the machine. Holy shit, Milkman Dan is here. You're a real bastard, Milkman Dan. I believe I'm blue. I am the Milkman. It feels he's, like my guns aren't doing anything. He's going to hassle Karen. Hold on. Blue, can you shoot? Okay, so you, you are both shooting. It's just ineffective. <laughs> yeah. I thought you meant like literally your gun wasn't working. What the hell's... You got acid bullets, bro. My gun's oh. not working. I love you. Thanks, Barney. I'm gonna shoot your dick off. I just want to teach you about sharing. You didn't have to emasculate me. Welcome to Outlast, bitch. What's Speaking of Outlast, bees. Oh 
So Chris, how much money in quarters did you bring that this time? That guy just ran you! About 50 bucks worth. Oh god, can, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to tally that now. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, can we write that off as a business expense, or...? You know what, fuck it. I'm gonna see how much how much money we spend. I'll, I'll, I, I'll... Is it a dollar a play or four no, it's, quarters? No, it's two quarters per, per... No, I, play. I, no, I, I remember this game being arcades. I would say, yeah, it was, when it came out, a dollar per play. Yeah, but he, on here, at the intro screen, it said two coins. Oh, okay. For st start. So maybe, maybe it's been out long enough. They're giving us a... Uh, well, arcade break. machines, it you said, can toggle them. It said one of paper equals four of coin. This is some extreme shit. I can see this game starting out as like promotional material for pet boys. <laughs> and they're like, this is way too violent. Pet boys get shot to the death. I was thinking that Why was... Why didn't you make a racing game? That's like the logical thing to do. These are like relatives of the vault dweller. <laughs> nope, that's another one. Who the hell... I guess Chris has to drive at that point because it's hard to shoot. I mean, if you guys saw Lucky and Wild, it's really hard to try. We into, cheated at Lucky and Wild. Yeah. <laughs> we had we had three people when it should have been two. <laughs> it was just like the Hong Kong Danger Duo. Oh, stuttering because of this graphical juggernaut. No, I think uh, I think actually that is the ride stuttering. It, the fire the fire is just too graphically intensive. Oh, that's gonna suck. The last level's hell. <laughs> <laughs> this first level seems like hell. I hate the fact they scream like Spongebob. That's very disturbing to me. Would it be better if they screamed like Patrick? Just shooting Tom Kenny in the face repeatedly. Who are you people? <laughs> Patrick, no! You killed my best friend. Uh, Krampus. Here we go. Happy holidays, everyone, from Reload Last Saved You. Okay, this looks like some sort of terrible World of Warcraft holiday boss. <laughs> like with that, with the big antlers and everything? Like something a guy threw together in a minute. He's like, <laughs> oh, fuck, what? Christmas is next week. Oh, just put some antlers on a giant. I'm trying to shoot his legs out. By the way, World of Warcraft, you're being generous. I would say EverQuest. <laughs> God, I miss EverQuest. You and you alone will say that. What was the name of your uh, your EverQuest character, Jason? <laughs> Break dance party guy. He was the coolest bard ever. I actually made it so every piece of his armor was a different color. He looked like a large jester. It was amazing. Like and then he died you'd see it a Karn evil. He died and his skull took over Karn evil. I'm just gonna keep crotch shotting him. Is that it? Just shoot sand in the balls. Come on. That's Merry Krampus. Christmas, everywhere. Merry <laughs> Christmas, everyone. <laughs> hey, I think we did pretty well. Well, I guess that's it. That's the end of our Christmas. Unless you guys want to play the rest of the game. Kinda, Why the fuck not? I kind of want to play the rest of the game, to be honest. It's the Freak Show! The Freak Show! See the strange and bizarre! Step yep, right up! That's scum of the earth! Seen you. We think you could be the star! <laughs> Can we tag this as uh, American Horror Story? Uh, I'm gonna tag this as the Dark Carnival and see how many Juggalo views we can get. <laughs> This this is the Juggalo equivalent of of like Area 51. <laughs> he says he's a juggler. No Juggalo. Do you think this game is also secretly about Christ? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Flapjack. Oh, he's a push me pull you. Save her. Save her from what? From love. Doesn't I? She's a plant. She works here. Probably. That's how haunted houses work. You know, someone comes out and goes, "Ah, help me!" And then you shoot them in the face with a real gun. Oh my gosh, a spider monkey! A literal spider monkey! I've never seen that in a video game. This is great. Define great. I'll tell you what. This, Merely okay. This game seems a little bit more generous than most. Than most, like I, like I don't feel like. Oh God! I'm playing. holy shit, Marty! <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Marty. Marty, why are you a maggot and living inside of a fat dead woman? I'm trying to lose some weight after the uh, Christmas holiday. That makes no sense whatsoever, but I'm just gonna leave you to it, Marty. <laughs> I'm so confused. Maybe those are his children. 
Maybe he had children and they're not full grown yet? Not all improv skits turn out great, okay? Sometimes you just gotta say, okay, and walk away. <laughs> My improv's always great. Like that time when you asked me to name a movie based on a comic book and I came up with the best one. Oh my goodness! It's the caveman from Trog! That's so awesome! That coolest cameo of the year. This game instantly gets five more points added to its score, it's a giving it an overall score of five. Chris, cameo was never cool. I don't know what you're talking about. Damn it. <laughs> I was waiting to say, join us next week for our Let's Play of Cameo on the Xbox oh, 360. I guess she wasn't a plant. Or if she was, she's still dead either way. I feel kind of bad. This reminds me of the sloth guy. Who you have to fight in the House of Dead 3? You know what this whole game reminds me of? Garbage? Ghoulies 2. My one of my favorite movies. <laughs> I am Iclops, the guy with two heads making him a Biclops. So just a regular person. I'm gonna shoot his eyes out. I am two mouth. Although he does have like Oh, uh, he's got a few more eyes, so. He's got eyes like in his armpits. Not That's anymore. gotta be terrible. Now he's a Cyclops. Is that what happens when He-Man like mispronounces his mantra ever so slightly? Like he says, I have the plower. <laughs> it's like, oh fuck no! <laughs> Just fucks up the entire body. I have the flower and he turns into the baker. Whoa, flamethrower! I'm going to bake you a delicious cake, Skeletor! Really? Yes, a fist cake! You could have said pound cake! Ah! Make no mistake, I love to bake. So, Andy, you know what we should do for Christmas? Torture attack. What? We should get in fights. No, we're supposed to have fun. Why? Fights are fun. I am not nice. I was actually watching some of the, the newer He-Man oh. show. Because there were three He-Man shows. There was He-Man, He-Man in Space, and then the 2002 reboot. And it was... Damn, you know, it was actually pretty good. A lot better than that Thundercats remake that was just way too anime. Oh, cool. The shortest flamethrower flame of all time. I thought I thought those those zombies were throwing keyblades at us for a second. They, they're weird. It's like they're knives, but they got those weird handles. How do we dodge? <laughs> so, Jason, would you say this game is better or worse than... Rise of Nightmares? Rise of Nightmares, thank you. It reminds me a lot of Rise of Nightmares. <laughs> like, like Jason, you're the only one to play Rise of Nightmares. Give us give us better or worse. Uh, I would say on on technical grounds... This looks a lot better. This looks, and and, and it, it actually plays better. Like, if I said, Jason, would you rather play this or Rise of Nightmares? <laughs> this. <gasps> Welcome we to Jurassic Park. We don't get to see Jason in this Let's Play. Zombies hit my neighbors, y'all. So, Andy, would you say that this arcade cabinet needs money to kill babies with abortions? I need your money to kill babies by abortion. Oh god. Put a clip of that right here. This thing is so terrifying. It's it's somehow more terrifying because it's That's so low a cool, res. Okay, that is a cool effect. I like that you're in a house with little tykes people. Where's the dog? The oh dog, my god! The dog's the best because the dog can fly airplanes. I'm playing this, uh, I was playing this game called, like, what? Uh, Total Reboot? Maximum Reboot? Something yeah. like that? And no, it's not a reboot game, unfortunately. Um, but there is a scene where you get shrunk down and put in a, into, like, a bunch of different... Well, that was cool because the attention to detail. They had that red-headed shitty kid with the baseball cap. Whenever you played Playmobiles, there was just that one shitty kid. You mean little people? Little, little people, sorry. I always get Playmobil, little tykes, and, and little people confused. <laughs> oh my god, you fried him! Guys, this donation to Toys for Tots turned out horribly. You know there's guns for toys and toys for tots? <laughs> I think we got some cross wires. <laughs> yeah, and it electrocuted him. Welcome to the haunted house. It's a ghoul who lost her head. 
If you'd like to stay and join us, you're always welcome, alive or dead. <laughs> Why is that threatening? Yeah, you That's gave us the accepting. option to be alive. Like, I mean, if you're alive or dead, you know what? It's fine. Oh, you need Come coins, over. right? So I guess I need to render unto Caesar what is his. A render to Caesar what is Caesar's! Give me money to kill David! Wait, this is Midway. I need coins with a K. Oh, that's right. <laughs> You're shooting all these zombies in a graveyard. I wonder how many alternate costumes for Sub-Zero you've unlocked. <laughs> Let me guess. They're all ice-themed. Wow. <laughs> really? Really went out of the way creatively. Oh, look. Deaths. These are wraiths. Don't be wraithist. Hold on, when you shoot the wraiths, tiny little spirits come out, like five of them per wraith. Yeah, mini wraiths. Why would one- Oh! Shot her right in the face. I shot her in the boobs. What were you saying about wraiths, Sandy? Uh, I was saying like five of the spirits come out of one wraith. Wait. Shouldn't a wraith be one spirit? This wait. Kid Icarus. If it's multiple spirits per being, then aren't those just Ermax? I'm gonna- Ham bone! <laughs> <laughs> I know Hand boning will save your life someday. I was just about to say that. This seems like a game that they would play in regular show. Carnival. Whoa. I'm shooting his gun with my gun. And it worked. Well, Rook from Splatterhouse is dead. <laughs> and we killed his girl. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Multiple times. He had every right to try and maim you. <laughs> maim? What, what, I don't know what you're talking about, Jason. Why are you mentioning Maine? I don't know what you're talking about. Man. He's making out with that chick. Oh, he made out with her to death. You guys are disgusting. You see one unconventional relationship and you have to stop it with violence. <laughs> don't kink shame unless someone is being fucking murdered. That's my kink. I still can't figure out, is it the same girl that keeps showing up, or do they all just look the same? Like, are there octuplets lost in this carnival? My blood tastes just like cherry cola! C-O-L-A cola! Ah! It's all the girls from uh, Mighty Switch Force. That's why they all look alike. Uh, before we had spider monkeys, now we just have spiders. Oh, those are spider spiders. Ooh, that's doubly dangerous. I spy with my little eye a der monkey. At the end, at the end of every leg is another spider. <laughs> <laughs> How many spider <laughs> shoes should you buy? <laughs> Sorry, Andy, I was eight pence short. See, this is what they should have done in... Uh, oh god, I hope the last boss isn't Imhotep, because Imhotep is invisible. <laughs> See, that's what... We, in Grab by the Ghoulies, you know when you walk down those hallways and, like, nothing really happens, but it's supposed to be spooky? Why weren't there just arms coming out of the hall? Render under Caesar. Uh... Hambo and the Revenge sounds like the perfect movie title. <laughs> it's a creepy old prospector who kills people by handboning. He hits them with his spoons. <laughs> Too many cooks? No. Keep shooting Skeletor's little kids. <laughs> Bartholomew! Oh, Franklin! I love what have they done to you? I love that sweet painting up there. Evelyn, I have terrible news! <laughs> you might be thinking Evelyn and Skeletor in a relationship. No, Evelyn was just a surrogate mother. For him and Beastman. For him and Beastman, yeah. Oh, gross! You know what this reminds me of? Limbo. When, when all the legs get pulled off that spider? Ugh. Chicken limbo? <laughs> wow, that, that game just got a lot darker. Chicken limbo, dear one. Big fun. Hey, I'm an obvious white guy doing a racist impersonation. Telling you to buy chicken limbo, man. Wait, why were... Races against chickens? Yes. <laughs> bok bok. <laughs> man. Bach Marley. <laughs> Chicken pot pie, man. Nice. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. 
Now I'm kind of hungry. Chicken pot, chicken pot. Chicken Rest in pieces! Pie. An obvious pun! I love it! More like Reese's pieces. Shit, I'm hungry too. <laughs> R.I.P. in peace. Whoa! Oh, Marie Antoinette. Oh, come on. Jiggle jiggle physics, really? Upskirts, really, game? It looks like it's we're doing- midway. W yeah, we're doing some tomb raiding. There's gotta be boobies. I don't think that's really a requirement, but okay. Out of three men playing this horribly dated game and making fart and poop jokes, jokes Jason still seems to be the most immature. <laughs> it takes a lot of practice. By the way, joiks, that's a new word. <laughs> yeah, joik. It's are, are those New Jersey jokes? Let them eat bullets. <laughs> that, okay, that, oh, are you doing a Duke Nukem impression? That's amazing. <laughs> She's got garters. Well, you oh, got- Oh, look at that! You can keep shooting to turn the river red. We, you got gore on her garters! <laughs> we beat the last boss to Skullgirls, I guess. Yeah! So now, do we have to beat a last level, or is that the end? What could be greater than gore on a gar garter? That, that doesn't work. to our main attraction, the Three Ring Circus in the Big Top Tenant. We hope our clowns will entertain you before making you the main event. <laughs> oh, we're getting a promotion. Wait, we're gonna go to main event? Laser tag, all right. Well, I'll see you guys. Did he say the Big Ten or the Big Tent? Are we going to see uh, football? The Big Ten. <laughs> Those are the linebackers, Clown <laughs> University. <laughs> Oh God, what if clown colleges had football teams? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that, that was Jason Yep, this time. that was me. Yeah. I, I wasn't gonna let her get away. Oh. Just like a Big Ten school, their football team perpetrates violence against women. <laughs> way to go, guys, you're on your way. <laughs> you're gonna get signed by the NFL in no time. You're gonna have to sit out a couple games, but only a couple. What is wrong with their proportions? Jesus Christ. They're mimes. That's also, they they're not threatening. You're just killing mimes for for sport. Are you freaking the guy from Blood, Caleb? No, we're two people. You could be one arm each. This music is so uplifting. It like makes me want to kill all the zombies. It's like, I can do it if I just believe in myself. You're complaining about a carnival game featuring carnival music. Like, I can see this happening in, I don't know, Deadly Premonition, which it does, it being confusing, but... Oh, Puppies! Whoa! I'm just wondering when we're gonna run into Poppy the Performer. <laughs> There's no reason for us to be going through these serrated loops! Uh, cause it looks cool, shut up. Not gonna shoot her, not gonna shoot her, not gonna shoot her, not gonna shoot her. The gameplay is so convoluted, it has you jumping through hoops. Literally. I'm Gene Shallon, and I'm reviewing games now. From beyond the grave. Gene Shallon's dead, right? I thought uh, Ebert was the one who died recently. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Gene Shallon's still alive. Uh, there's no justice in the world then. I, I remember I... Uh, Let's get that Twitter campaign started. I had a review for Lead and Gold few years ago that was as written by Gene Shalit. <laughs> I think I said like like uh for a few dollars more you couldn't get a better game and like everything was a pun based on a, a old west movie especially a Clint Eastwood one yeah we I, I would love to not have to buy the arcade cabinet to play this, but we couldn't get the mime emulator to work. This game has several graphical settings. Good, bad, and the ugly. <laughs> that was one of the jokes in it. I think it was actually, I want to give you the good, bad, and ugly, but this game is just good. It actually wasn't that good. Hey, that's, <laughs> that's one of the cars from uh, Twisted Metal. Uh oh, there we go. Where's Sweet Tooth? I demand to see him. Oh my goodness. A Nazi putting his brain in a gorilla body. This game's got it all. Oh my 
gosh, this is truly a clown college. They have a doctor's program. This is amazing. You know what? This really, this really just changes Welcome everything. Welcome aboard. From this study, I have observed your every move, but you do not obey. Prepare to die. <laughs> Oh, I thought Token Taker was the Jester. Umla? His name oh, is Umlaut. Umlaut. Eh, pretty good. Pretty good joke. He, this is probably his first form, because he's way too weak. Sand Gold! So, yes. oh, the official innkeeper! Hi. The 90s were pretty rough after my big break in point and click games. So now I'm just a regular whack-a-mole villain. This is an important click game? It kind of is. You're it is technically a... correct, but only because you're cheating by using a MAME emulator. Oh, wait. You Here's think... a hint. You're going to jail for piracy. You think that using a mouse is easier? Here's a hint. Because it's fucking not. Don't drop the soap. <laughs> Why does he have a blunderbuss? This is a Jumanji game. <laughs> this game is a blunder. This is Jumanji. Guys, the object of the game is to not rattle their bones, okay? Well, they're not rattling as much as snapping as we shoot them in half. If you snap something, it rattles. <laughs> Did you just use rattle me bones as a sexual slur? <laughs> Oh, he got, he blunder busted us up. I like how he, he like shocked himself with that shot. He's like, now you must die. Oh, holy shit. This thing's got a kick. <laughs> also, I like, I like his funky fresh dance moves while you pummel his crotch with buckshot. <laughs> I like that he, I love these bosses that have a, that have a firearm and they decide to rush you. Well, that's a blunder bus. He can shoot it once. Please kill my baby. <laughs> He's rattling my bones. Oh, this one skeleton got us both. Um, it's there we go. Uh oh, it was her. This fault. game's gonna break towards the end. Oh, he's throwing bombs. I thought he was throwing turkey legs. Like Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'm already hungry enough. Can you shut up? I'll kill you with cholesterol. Oh. oh! I should have used a more fattening food! Ah! I hope we, Gorster got out of there, okay? We destroyed Meta Knight's halberd. Oh, that's sad. Oh, that girl! Oh, that was Gorster. I think that was Gorster's wife. And maybe go to this crazy carnival. You never take me dancing. You never take me to the carnival. Yes! Oh, one free play. We're gonna play Primal Rage instead. But we need two coins for a life. What, you thought it was that fun? So is he torturing that blonde lady too? Cause she didn't seem like she was into it. A film by John Landis. Wait, so does that mean that we didn't really kill them that they were all just props? Like, does it just reset, or? I would love if you got there and it was just you walking around and there are just corpses everywhere and there's just, <laughs> oh, <laughs> nothing oh to write do. your name. It's me. Write your name in the snow. Mm. Okay, this is actually kind of cool. Mm. That looks like nothing. Yay, moldy. <laughs> Moldy? Old? I'm going to get something to eat! Show him up, Jason. Draw a real realistic depiction of your face. J.D. Salinger. J. Dud. Oh, no, there's not enough Okay, space. J. Duty. There you <laughs> are. J. Duty. J. Duty? <laughs> oh, Jason's new name is J. Duty. 
Carnival, based on a novel by Jack Hayer. <laughs> a novel? Yes. Um, so where's the music? For Executive the- producer, Neil Nicastro. It's a commie game. Kenneth Credenza. Where's the music? You know, I actually had to serve a nickel in the pen for Paul desalting someone. This is really awkward. <laughs> yeah, you know, should we do 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 Oh, it's the son of Roman Atkinson and Tilla the Hunter. Why would he take Roman's first name? It's a lead game code witch. And back to it and Ready for the remix. I guess I didn't know you. Don't. Body movement. Body movement. Daniel Benson Bigelow. Guns and cabinet design. I thought you were doing it to the tune of everybody clap your hands. Mortal Kombat! <laughs> run around the railroad track. Run around with Captain Jack. Dee da do, dee da do. Dee da dee da dee da do. Da 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 dee da do. Left, right, right, left. Ba da da dee da do. Run around with Captain Jack. Motion capture talent? Yeah, who the fuck? Done with Loggins and Piscina. <laughs> I was I was the guy that dressed up as the large toddler in a diaper. <laughs> My name is Sarah Dan Ourzler and Rosalind Douglas. Douglas. I, I Douglas? I'd Rosalind really like Douglas. to think that that's the lead designer's like sexual kink. And someone <laughs> walked in one day and it's like, a motion capturing. For, for what? Uh, giant, it's a giant baby boss. And he sounds like a Dave Gross man. Special thanks to Dink and Dawn. Giant baby boss. Giant baby boss. So I guess Doink's... I guess Doink's vertically challenged sidekick became a video game programmer <laughs> after his long tenure in the WWF. We should get credit for testing this game. Has a lot of bugs. Ba-dum-tsh. Mostly wasps. We shot them all. Special thanks to Black Sheep. <laughs> Just the black ones. And the white goat. That's that's a personal joke. So a, a black sheep. Mm-hmm. Would the... Like, how would they use the wool? Would it would the wool come out black, or would they, like, have to process it? No clue. All I know is this is the black sheep of the Midway Arcade games. Many thanks, John Root. And you, Guo. Sh- I'd like to... Th- Dr. Seuss! I'd really like what? To, I'd really like to think that this broke up Sheila and Ryan Quinn's marriage. Did Dr. Seuss write the intro rhyme for this? No, see, in special thanks, you can literally just thank anyone. So, I mean, you could just be like, I'd like to thank... Uh, George Washington, uh, the ghost of Christmas. <laughs> Matt Pat, Booty! And Matt Booty. And Jan. Tom Anderson. p <laughs> What? Like, that's a good way to lie. And Steve Carell! <laughs> <laughs> Steve Coral. <laughs> Dio. <laughs> Wait a minute, Steve Coral? Is that, like, his Spongebob equivalent? <laughs> yes! The one-armed man! I love Holy him. shit! Who's the one that's rock? The big bunion? Oh, uh, gross. That's that's a disgusting. <laughs> you know, you guys got the. 
probably say the same. I don't care. You know, you guys got to play this game, but I didn't. I don't care. You fucked that up. Have you never seen that movie? Which one? Uh, The Fugitive, what the one-armed man is referencing. Nope. I didn't kill my wife. I don't care. Never mind. Finis. Finis. Game Wait, over. Wait, try again. Did we, we not beat do well it. enough? Or? No, but the guy put another coin in the thing, so we have to play it again. Oh, God, it's a cyclical ending. We're Let's stuck here again. forever. Oh, God, it is starting over again. Wait a minute. I can just turn this game off. It's a Christmas miracle. This takes place in Iowa. What an odd thing. <laughs> Greeley Valley. I can't. I can't turn off. Oh, God. You no. shouldn't have put the coin in. I don't care.